The board of Kenyatta National Hospital appeared before the Parliamentary Health Committee right after suspended CEO Lily Koros against a backdrop of a litany of complaints by families of the patients involved in the mix-up and revelations of harsh working conditions by the clinical and surgical staff at the eye of the storm. When these incidents happened, two things we ought to see that are positive. Number one, the surgeon was able to use his expertise and skills to realize that this is the wrong patient. Number two, when the issue happened within the confines of the operation theater, it never stayed there. There was disclosure. If there wasn't disclosure, we wouldn't be here. It would have been hushed up. To have 70,000 inpatients in the course of a year, like no other hospital, does not show that uh, people don't have faith in that hospital. It only happens that we are having too many patients seeking services at Kenyatta. And I tend to believe that KNH is a victim of its own success. There should be a cure of the system, awesomely, for the institutions below KNH to work and now for KNH to address their issues. That is where the board comes in. That's a policy issue, an interaction between the board and the ministry. The hospital, whose initial capacity was 1,300 patients, currently cares for 2,400 inpatients and sees another 2,000 outpatients daily. On weekdays, up to 80 patients are operated on daily. The cost of treating them often falls on the hospital again. Is there a way of dealing with these people whom we call indigents? People who can't pay, won't pay. And quite often, between 70 and 80 percent, they plead that they cannot pay. The cumulative up to now of the patients who have not been able to pay and they've been released is 5.4 billion. Then came the controversial issue of the suspension of the CEO and director of medical services. Do you feel like there's somebody who would want you out of Kenyatta National Hospital? It's a very difficult question, Madam Chair. But let me say this. Uh, the issues that have actually happened in the recent past makes me sometimes wonder whether there is objectivity or there is something more than meets the eye. Meanwhile, the Kenya Medical Practitioners and Dentists Board summoned all parties involved in the brain surgery blunder to appear before its preliminary inquiry committee as it seeks to zero in on the real cause of the mishap. A verdict is expected tomorrow. Sylvia Chabet, Citizen TV, Nairobi.